I'm going to say something here uh, about the folks that are constantly telling people of liberty, such as myself, I am people of liberty. If you don't like it here, you can just leave. Now, when you say that, you are assuming that a coercive enterprise owns all of this land and that therefore, if I don't like living on the land that this coercive enterprise owns, that I should leave. You are assuming that people who, they, they weren't part of the Revolutionary War, they didn't write that freaking constitution that I never signed, uh, you know, go see Lysander Spooner on that. Um, Spooner. Anyway, read, read no treason. You are assuming that they somehow magically own all this land. That somehow the, the, I used to say, I, I, I used to call it, I said owners and managers, but now a friend of mine and I, we were discussing this, and I am changing the word. I'm going to call them controllers and managers. The controllers are the people who really run the show. And there's there's controllers at different levels. I'm not going to go down that path. But essentially, controllers, those are the ones that really have the power to send the troops out. And the managers, those are the front line. Those are the public face. The managers are like the politicians. And then below the managers, you have the thug army, the goons, the, well, the bodyguards, all whatever, you know, the police, the security for the various quote-unquote governmental departments. That whole organization with the owners or the 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 controllers on top and everybody else being some level of beneficiary or vassal they don't own crap they 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 didn't buy this land from any legitimate authority or I know, authority is the wrong word they, they didn't buy this land from anyone that actually owned the land they just declared that they own the land and now you want to come to me el stupido statey facey and tell me that I need to leave a land that they don't own. Because you bought into the myth of the state so much that you assume that if I don't like it, quote unquote, here, and here I live in the Lehigh Valley in Pennsylvania, which is the, the eastern region of the, of the, coercive enterprises, self-defined territory called the United States of America, that somehow if I don't like living in this land, on this literal piece of land, that I should somehow move and leave when they don't own crap. They have no right, no title, no justification for the quote-unquote authority that they claim. And the only reason they have this authority is because you, my neighbors, my own neighbors, you justify them and support them. And you will go out and you will cast your bloody vote to ensure that if I step out of line, that the, the, the controllers will authorize their managers to write writs of orders, writs, whatever crap, and then that will trigger them to send out their goons. The real power that they have is their ability to control the goons. And they'll send out their goons, and you'll support it. And if I don't like it, if I chafe at the bit, you will tell me to leave. Well, I'm not going anywhere, State Yvonne State faces. And I would say, since you are giving legitimacy to ownership that is not legitimate, you should leave because you have no legitimacy. There. Spoken my mind. Word. <laughs>